I leave personal integrity, and I think this is what this award also symbolizes. And since this award symbolizes these very principles, I was also standing up to the same principles by showing up my presence at a place amongst people who have been victims of this kind of violence. Showing up to the world that a neighbor, a chief minister of a state is a neighbor of someone, that area and that space should be the most secure space in the state. But here it's the opposite. The people who are neighbors to the chief minister, people who belong to the same panchayat, they are not safe in the state governed by the chief minister. And I went to represent that cause. I want, went to represent the cause of many widows who have lost their husbands to the left perpetuated violence. I went to represent Karthik, a small child of seven year old whose hand has been slashed. I went to represent the cause of Jisha, who was brutally murdered. I went to represent the cause of people who have lost their homes and their homes have been damaged and they have no way of making those homes and no damages is what the state has paid. Anywhere, one, the state-run violence cannot exist in a democratic setup. Two, people who believe in democratic principles may belong to party A, B, C, but have a free choice to vote for whoever they wish to vote for. And no one can coerce, intimidate them to vote in a certain pattern. The fact there is coercion, the fact there is intimidation, the fact there is celebration of violence speaks volumes of the manner in which administration in the state is run. But unfortunate part is people divide amongst themselves not on the principles or collect under the same umbrella of the rule of law which the constitution prescribes for the whole nation or the law which the state believes in but people get divided sometimes in the name of religion sometimes in the name of caste sometimes in the name of upper class lower class so all these divisions of caste class and creed or gender are made to divide society so that corrupt can rule and can manipulate the rule of law. And I think these two veteran journalists also represent the fact that they have also withstood these pressures. They have lived their life on certain principles and have worked to establish the rule of law. And this is that rule of law which people like me believe in. And it is following the rule of law that people like me want to establish in the whole country. It is one law, one people that people like me talk about because for me, nationalism is nothing other than the rule of law. It is not just a geographical entity of a country called India, but it is how all Indians interact with each other, are bound together by the same principles, same ethos and same mindset. And it is that oneness which we all represent, even if I don't speak the same language, I may not follow the same customs or may follow the same customs, who knows. The idea of India is common to us. We believe in certain principles, we believe in Mahabharati, we believe in Bharat Mata Ki Jai and we believe in Bande Matram. And when we believe in those principles which are enshrined in the constitution, there is no division between national anthem and national song. Both enjoy the same status. But people can divide even in the name of national anthem and national song. And it is these kinds of divisions we need to fight against, show our character, show our integrity, and show our commitment to the Mother India. And that commitment to Mother India comes for doing our daily duties to the field of our choice, to do our work, whatever destiny has assigned on us. If somebody is a journalist, that someone has to perform the duty of a journalist. Somebody is a teacher, has to perform the duties of a teacher. Somebody is a lawyer, has to perform the duties of a lawyer. Somebody is a cook, has to perform the duties of being a good cook. 
domestic help, a sanitation worker, everything is contributing to making this India a great nation. So every small step we take makes this country a great nation and every contribution is as important as the other contribution. There is no class in serving the nation. We are just one class, that is we are the children of Mother India and Mother India destiny may have bestowed different duties on us and I call it in my own way. I say Rashtra Vikas or Rashtra Nirman ka jab yagya chalta hai to us yagya mein sab ki ahuti jab tak nahi padti wo sampan nahi hota abhi jo vikas ka desh nirman ka yagya chal raha hai jis mein hum sab ne purani sab kuritiyo ko dur karke swachta lani hai swachta not just cleaning the road or managing the waste but managing the debris in the brain and that debris which is in the brain has to be managed and that can be managed only through a cultural nationalism and once we establish that we are not dependent on other powers we are self-sufficient we take pride in being Indians rather than taking pride in belonging to any other caste, color or creed we shall become the greatest nation in the world because this nation has produced the best the better than the best brains in the world and the better than the bra best brains in the world who have chosen to survive and work in most difficult circumstances least amount of resources and greatest amount of resource which is brain is available to us the power of thinking is available to us now we must harness this power of thinking in building the nation and to make this yagya sampan each one each one has to put ahuti of his or her work in that yagya only then that yagya will become sampan every work you know picking up a leaf and throwing it in the dustbin picking up a garbage bag and putting it in the right place giving people the right kind of food Cleaning utensils, not polluting rivers, not killing ecology and environment, teaching their correct principles, fighting for the right cause and that fighting for the right cause is what I went for. Writing for the right cause is what these two gentlemen have exhibited and Vishwa Sambad Kendra has also exhibited how we choose to recognize the right kind of people who have done the right kind of duties towards Mother India and towards the nation building. And I want everyone present in the audience to do that ahuti and make this yagya of Bharat Nirman Sampan by putting the right, by doing the right kind of work which we all need to and what we are supposed to. Since this award is in the name of Narad Muni. Uh, I must remember Narad Muni also because Narad Ji probably was one Dev Rishi who wittingly or unwittingly was a carrier of information and carrier of information is also carrier of knowledge. Now it may sound that he played around with words, with surroundings, with circumstances, which he was very famous for by playing around with words. But the play of words can change destinies is what the motto of the story is. And by playing with words in the right format, you can actually change the destiny of the country, the destiny of the state. I want everyone present here to change the destiny of this state because this state has also seen too much of wrongdoing but unfortunately in the garb of uh, HDI, in the garb of um, a better prosperous state, the underbelly does not get exposed. I think the underbelly is what needs to be exposed and the first exposure has to be that this state has done nothing as a state to promote prosperity. 
The prosperity to this state has come through the hard working, intelligent people, which are Malayalis. Malayalis by nature are hard working, disciplined, and intelligent. So, by their sheer skill and upbringing and well being, they have gone out of the state to earn their living and they are sending money here. So, it is a state which works on remittances and money orders. But state has not done enough to create that prosperity which they very proudly claim. I think that's the first exposure all of you need to do. The exposure also has to be on gender biases. A state which had Nair's tradition, it had matrilineal mat matriarchal societies, it had women rulers, it had women who were very powerful women in the past and women generally amongst Keralite society are very respected souls. But you do have cases like Jisha. You do have cases where your former chief minister, Mr. Achutanan promises something that VIPs will be taken to task till date nothing happens in those cases. And there is nothing called justice in the state. So people die. Master Jaikishan, remember his case? What happened to justice in that case? These people manipulated the systems and we allowed them to manipulate the system because there was not enough noise. I think making noise is the first step, taking people to task is the next step and getting justice is the real test and let's all combine together to get justice for those who are victims of violence, those who are victims of wrongdoings and that is what I think the Narad award today deserves to be given to two people who have stood all these tests and I feel privileged and proud to be present amongst all my well-wishers, friends and we are of course wish for Sambad Kendra's one family and I remember some years ago I had done this award ceremony in Chhattisgarh and UP and couple of other places. I'm really pleased to be connected to the organization. I'm part of uh, this organization, part of uh, Sang one way or the other and part of BJP of course uh, fought my political battles and been here. Wish you all the very very best in this Sampurn Yagya. Let's all do our task, our work and bring justice to those who deserve it the most. Thank you. ഇതിന് <laughs> ഇതിന് <laughs> നന്ദിരേഖപ്പെടുത്തുന്നു നല്ലവരായ സഹപ്രവർത്തകർക്കും വിശ്വസംവാദ കേന്ദ്രത്തിൻ്റെ പേരിൽ നന്ദി രേഖപ്പെടുത്തും അധ്യക്ഷയുടെ അനുവാദത്തോടുകൂടി ഈ പരിപാടി സമാപിച്ചതായി അറിയിക്കും
Beli bilir, tuan mula. 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 Bilir, tuan mula.
നമുക്ക് കഴിയ കഴിഞ്ഞോണം ഞാൻ എന്ത് പറയുന്ന